Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. What I'm going to talk about are springs. Once you take them apart, the end plate on your phonograph, you need to take a picture or make a drawing of what way the spring goes in. And when you take it out, you can note also what way it comes in or goes in and comes out. You also have to look at this. This is what happens when you put one in backwards 50 years ago, and this is twisted up. And then the centerpiece on this one is bent over because they used a nail to hold it together. These, the end piece that hooks the outside of the spring has been riveted in also. And this might have been done from the factory where they riveted them all into place. You need to look at this. If you go buy a phonograph and they tell you it ran yesterday, it probably didn't. If you crank and crank and crank and crank the phonograph, and nothing turns over, and the crank's real loose, you know that's a spring problem. I just wanted to point this out if you're looking at photographs, and that's my tip for the day.